Hi there Scorpio, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 15th of June. Just before Christmas last year, Saturn concluded a two and a quarter year transit through your sign, except it wasn't at a complete end. Because there is always a time when Saturn then moves into the next sign and then retrogrades. That retrograde has been going on since mid-March and now that brings him back into your sign. And he's going to be going through Scorpio through to the middle of September. So what does this mean? Well, Saturn is obviously a planet that we need to take very seriously. Itself is a serious influence. It's about being very responsible. It's about realizing our limitations, but it's about working very, very hard on the areas of our life which are not working very well. Now for you, in this next period of time, it's just urging you to make the most of your individual talents, skills and flares. Anything to do with creativity can be an area that perhaps you just need to put a little bit more effort in to really get back to the rewards that you feel are really rightfully yours. So if this seems a little bit frustrating and some uh, blockages and obstacles seem to come up in this four month period, try to be philosophical about them. Because Saturn is always in some part of our horoscope, it never goes away, and sometimes people can almost think too much about where it is because it's always active. And really, in truth, it depends on our natal horoscope how much impact it will truly have upon us. Now, the other big influence this week is a new moon which occurs on Tuesday. A new moon which is influenced by your co region of Mars. Now, Mars is an influence which is very much to do with getting in touch with our desires. And in this part of your horoscope, the 8th solar house, sex could be one of the desires you have at the moment. And if there is somebody that you're really drawn towards, then the next month can be really quite important. With Venus and Jupiter right at the top of your horoscope, I do feel that professional aspirations are going to be to the fore too. Jupiter's forging a superb angle with Uranus, the planet of the unexpected, which is in the part of your scope to do with work. So as much as Jupiter's to do with kind of responsibilities, how bosses and people in positions of authority see you, Uranus is in that area which is very much to do with the nitty gritty. If you're flexible, but also can come up with some very exciting and innovative ideas. These could catch the imagination of someone that you're trying to get on side. Now this could be a bank manager, it could be a boss. It just depends on your unique situation. Because the eighth house new moon, which is influenced this week, is not just about intimacy, it is also about money, especially longer term money. So do try to be very much open to how new technology and approaches can work for you. Don't be too stuck in your ways. Some things may have to come to an end in order for you to really embrace something that's new and exciting. However, Mercury, which is also in your eighth solar house, does repeat a square which occurred at the end of May and the beginning of June with Neptune. Now you've seen quite a lot of stories come up about corruption at FIFA and also drug taking in sports amongst athletes. This is very, very much Neptunian stuff because it can be to do with concealment, to do with deceit. And because Mercury is in the eighth house, your ability to get down underneath the surface of situations can be increased by its presence in this area. But Neptune can also distort our reality in its relationship with Mercury. So you must make sure that your thinking remains to a degree quite detached, just stand back, try not to get too emotional or frustrated if things don't go exactly to plan. And if you can stay logical, it will help you to negotiate any pitfalls that may come up this week. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.